Okay, hello everyone in a new video. In this one we are going to solve an exercise related to electricity in the chapters of DC voltage and AC voltage. This exercise was a previous one in the Breve exams in 2019 third session, exercise number 3. The title of this exercise is Suitable Voltage. A voltmeter and an oscilloscope are connected across the terminals of a generator G delivering an alternating sinusoidal voltage U, document 4. Then they mention document 4, then now we can use it. Uh, the document 5 represents the waveform of U, so also they mentioned document 5, then now we can use it. Uh, in the absence of any voltage, the horizontal luminous line passes through the center of the screen. The adjustment of the oscilloscope R, the vertical sensitivity is equal to 5 volts per division, and the horizontal sensitivity is given by 10 milliseconds per division. Take the value of square root of 2 is equal to 1.41. Then, the trick in solving such type of exercises is to determine the values of x and y from the screen of the, of the oscilloscope. Then, what does x represent? Now, x represents the number of divisions between two consecutive peaks. Here, it's difficult to count the number of divisions between two consecutive peaks. Then, we will count the number of divisions from the center. Then, we choose a point. Then, we skip a point. And in this case, the number of divisions is given by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then the value of x is given by 5 divisions, which represent the number of divisions along the x-axis. As for y, which is uh, the number of divisions or the maximum voltage reached by the, uh, by the wave. So in this case, it's given to be 2.4 divisions. Now, the vertical sensitivity is given by 5 volts per division. The horizontal sensitivity is given by 10 milliseconds per division, knowing that millisecond is not the assignment of time. In order to convert from milliseconds to second, we simply divide by 1000. Then, dividing SH by 1000, then SH will be given by 0 0.01 seconds per division. Now, number one, so the voltmeter measures a voltage U, what does U represent? Here in document four, we have the generator G that is delivering uh, the voltage U, which is sinusoidal and displaced by the oscilloscope. Now, across the generator, we have the voltmeter V. You notice that here the COM terminal is not uh, indicated on the voltmeter because we are measuring an AC voltage. So it's alternately positive and negative, no need for the COM terminal. And also, the oscilloscope is connected to the generator G. Now, the voltmeter measures a voltage U. What does U represent? In this case, the generator G delivers uh, or can be characterized by two voltages, and they are given by the, the U maximum and the U effective. They are asking me, what does U represent? So, U will represent either U maximum or the U effective. Uh, but because we know that the uh, U-effective is the one that makes the effect, so the voltmeter measures the U-effective. Now, let's say, since a voltmeter functioning in the AC mode connected across an AC voltage source measures the effective voltage of the source. For this, the voltage U represent the effective voltage then. U represents the effective voltage. And now in number two, they are telling me by referring to the document five, 2.1, calculate the period T of U 
The period is given by SH multiplied by X. The value of SH is given by in the SI 0 0.01 second. And X is given by 5. Plugging this on the calculator, it will give me 0 0.05 seconds. Then the value of the period is given by 0 0.05 seconds. Now, in 2.2, they are telling me to deduce the frequency f of u, and deduce means that we need to use the part just previously before. In part 2.1, we have calculated the period. Then we can deduce the frequency because they are related via the following formula. Now, 1 divided by 0 0.05, plugging it on the calculator, it will give me 20. Since the period is in the SI, so the value of f will be in the SI, which is hertz. Then the frequency of this source u is equal to 20 hertz. Now in, in 2.3, they are telling me show that the maximum value of u is um is equal to 12 volts. The new um, it's the maximum voltage reached by the peak of the waveform. So it's the number of divisions, which is 2.4 multiplied by the vertical scale, which is 5. Or in other words, as v multiplied by y. The value of SV is given by 5, and the value of Y is 2.4. Plugging it on the calculator, it will give me 12. Since everything in the SI, so the value of UM will be in the SI, which is volts. Then UM is equal to 12 volts. Now in 2.4 they are telling me deduce u and we already justified in number one that u represents the effective voltage so they are asking me to calculate the effective voltage and deduce means that we need to use the part just previously before in 2.3 we have determined the maximum voltage and we know that the effective voltage and the maximum voltage are related via the following formula um divided by square root of 2 now the value of um is given by 12 and the value of square root of 2 is given by 1.41. Now plugging, plugging this fraction, plugging this fraction on the calculator, it will give me 8.51 volts. So the effective voltage is given by 8.51 volts. Now finally in number 3 of this exercise, They are telling me a lamp L marked 12 volt is connected across the G. L doesn't glow normally, justify. So here in this case, 12 volt represent the rated voltage of the lamp L in order to function normally. Then in order for lamp L to function normally, the applied voltage must be equal to the rated voltage 12 volts. They're asking me about the functioning of the lamp. They are telling me that L doesn't glow normally. So in order to justify why L doesn't glow normally, we need to... Uh, uh, compare the applied voltage to the rate voltage. In this case, we have two voltages and they are given by UM and U effective. So we always use the U effective uh, to compare it with the applied volt uh, to the rated voltage because it's the one that makes the effect. Now in this case, U effective is given by 8.51 volts, which is less than 12 volts. Now let's say since the applied voltage in this case, the applied voltage is the effective voltage. Since the applied voltage is less than the rated voltage, voltage of the lamp L, and this is because 8.51 volts is less than uh, 12 volts then the lamp L doesn't function or function weakly And by this we have finished solving this exercise. Hope it was beneficial for you guys out there watching it and see you soon in another one.